really wasn't until I encountered the Baha'i faith that I became aware of Islam. If I had heard the name of Islam or uh, Muhammad, however, intermittently during my school years, it would have been in the context of uh, a threat uh, or in the context of the Crusades or in the context of Muslims as having been enemies of Christianity, this kind of thing. But even that you didn't hear. You didn't know about it. You didn't hear about it. So when I encountered the Baha'i faith and read uh, the, the writings of Baha'u'llah and Abdul Baha, and then later the Baha. But first with Baha'u'llah, I was, I was extremely interested and inspired and excited by these beautiful things that Baha'u'llah was saying about the Prophet Muhammad. Blessing and peace be upon Muhammad, through whose advent Mecca is wreathed in smiles, and the sweet savors of whose raiment have shed fragrance upon all mankind. He who came to protect men from that which would harm them in the world below. Exalted, immensely exalted is his station above the glorification of all beings and sanctified from the praise of the entire creation. Through his advent, the tabernacle of stability and order was raised throughout the world and the ensign of knowledge hoisted among the nations. May blessings rest also upon his kindred and his companions through whom the standard of the unity of God and of his singleness was uplifted and the banners of celestial triumph were unfurled. Through them, the religion of God was firmly established among his creatures and his name magnified amidst his servants. Imagine me, whatever it was, 19 or 20 years old, encountering this kind of very positive, well, you know, it's almost a religious experience to read such words in contrast with one's, however vague, presupposition. So this really set up a kind of very productive cognitive dissonance <laughs> in, my, in my mind and soul. And then I began to study it seriously. I went to school to learn a bit more about Islam. <laughs> and then came across the Islamophobia that David just asked about in a, in a more academic uh, context. And it's a tragedy. Uh, Islamophobia is a crime against humanity. There's, uh, there is no uh, other way to characterize it. 